It's been two months since João Claudio Rosa's brother was killed in the Complexo do Alemão, one of the most violent slums in Rio de Janeiro. Claudio blames the military police. My brother was a worker at a cleaning company and used to get up every day at 3 a.m. and come home only at 7 p.m. He got home and then left again to buy some bread. This is my brother's work T-shirt. A few seconds after he had left the bakery, the cops started to shoot. The day we visited the area, the police were hunting down drug traffickers, forcing terrified residents to hide. In 2011, the government tried to pacify people living in slums like this one by increasing the presence of the police and improving basic services. But community leader Marco Valerio Alvia says the authorities never completed the work that was needed. At the beginning of the pacification process three years ago, there were social projects that no longer exist because of the permanent violence. Now our kids are sick and stressed. Schools are invaded by violence. Unemployment grows and there are no investments for infrastructure anymore. So drug gangs, including Comando Vermelho or the Red Command, are battling for control and resisting any advance by the police. At least 14 people have died here in just a few months. People here say that this place is like a war zone with fighting between drug gangs and the police happening every day. Two months ago, the police was able to set up this post. You're able to see the weapon right next to that window. Those living here say that they're more fearful than before and they are tired of living in fear. We have no peace. I have just picked up my granddaughter from school, but in the morning she grabbed me saying she didn't want to die. Nobody can stand it anymore. But it's not just in the slums where there's been an increase in violence. Robberies and firefights are happening in places that were once considered safe, like shopping centres. Criminals are more audacious. Public authorities have no credit today among Brazilian society. What does it mean to have a president and former president accused of crimes or the former governor in jail? There's a general idea in this country that everything is allowed because there are no ethics. Brazil is in the middle of a political and economic crisis. Its president, Michel Temer, is accused of corruption. The rising crime and violence in Rio only adds to the uncertainty of where the country is heading. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.